saying before, I, I really admire the the stamina that these players exhibit. Like they just coming to local after local after local, grinding it out. That that's very hard to do. That's very uh, pressing on the mind. Alrighty. Let's see how this goes down for these two. I don't know if they're gonna ban or just PS2 it, probably. Yeah. Alrighty, let's get this game started. Stop battle. Okay, this is definitely not what I was expecting, but you know what? We'll just go for it and see how this goes down. Three, this two, is interesting. One, go! Alrighty. I mean, at least Captain Falcon can match up to the speed with uh, against Samus. So we'll have to see how this goes down. Yeah, this is not our first time seeing this matchup on stream today. Yep. Same game right now. Nobody, nobody being sent off stage right yet. And there we go. It seems like most of the time the opponent ends up a little bit too upward for the spike to be able to properly connect. It can still work, but it, maybe it's just a smaller window than in the previous games. Barely whipping this down here as well. Didn't really get punished super hard for it, but a punish is a punish. Yep. Yeah, get up attack is kind of risky if your opponent is not, you know, charging a smash attack or anything like that, only because a character like Sirius is very quick on their short hops, able to come back down and beat something out, and then you can get it back or just like that. Yeah, and the, and the thing about uh, Sirius or Samus' short hops, a lot of them turn into combos, just like that. Oh my goodness, yeah, Nair is such a strong tool. Wow, just coming down with the down air, that is no respect whatsoever. It's like, what are you doing playing Captain Falcon? Landing with the knee, another Nair, yep, that's death, and that's a 3 stock, not even 80% onto quick, that was a very nice stock. <laughs> Alright, now, Lutini just kind of turned in his chair and looked as far away in the complete opposite direction of quick as he could, just because he probably did not want to relive that match and look at quick's face <laughs> yeah. when he got blown up like that. <laughs> quick's like, okay, I'll take it. Yeah. Alrighty, come back to the Wario. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Just trying to test the waters, I suppose. He must not like this matchup at all. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're going to the warrior. He was, he was hesitant, though. That's what it looked like, so maybe he doesn't like this matchup. We'll have to see. Might have been considering Three, ninja. Two, one, go! I wonder why he doesn't like this matchup, if that is true. Probably because he gets outranged, he gets outsped, but, uh... I don't know, Zero Suit's kind of light. She'll be dying to uh, back air fairly early. A lot of it probably has, Zero Suit probably has like the edge on it. The neutral and air to air, I can see that. Both yeah, true. Happening. A lot of pressure he's trying to do with the bike. It looks like he's already being annihilated by that down B to be able to escape and return back to neutral whenever he's trying to land. Yeah, when I look at that Zero and I look at that Nair, that is huge outranging. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. He almost had the aerial art, but he just kind of misplaced it, unfortunately, with his fast bow. Yeah, just a little bit. Hit that bike. Wow, yeah, I'm telling you, it's got multiple hits, and it, uh, it'll catch you when you suspect it. Notice the drift from these two players. They're being very careful and very defensive about the way they're uh, being approached and approaching. Oh, try to use the dare to long back the hitbox to be able to catch him. Not quite going to work out that way, though. There. Into the tech chase? No. He decides to air dodge in and actually presents an opportunity for a down tilt into dash attack. Hold the shins, shoulder, shoulder the torso. Okay. Nice little cross up, being able to add a nice little bit of uh, shield damage. Oh, there's that forward air. Oh, when you least expect it, that was nice and quick. Yep, very nice to set up into a landing grab there. How does he get back for the ledge? We'll have to see. Nothing quite yet. I love how Plutoni just called out that Zare, or that uh, that tether grab. Ooh, those hands of justice. Uh, the berry. Yeah. Uh, only 51%. Uh, we'll have to see if uh, Gluteni can try to maintain his wow to retract. The hitbox actually kept him up and it set up into a boost kick. Very nice. Dash back and dash forward. Well, these two a little bit afraid to commit now that uh, Gluttony has the WAP available. I'm sure Quick's a little bit more careful this time around. Yeah, you know, I truly don't blame Gluttony for being a bit more campy. Uh, just 
based off of the pure fact that Zero Damage does have a bit of an advantage when it comes to the range department. I, I, I see that he's trying to pick his battles, and now that he has walked, uh, there's a bit of a discrepancy between these two. Okay, forward air. Forward air big... Okay, that was yeah. unfortunate. I think... I don't know if he was air dodging or trying to get the tech roll in, or tech roll away just in time. It's sometimes that will happen when you try to buffer it. Buffer it and get the air dodge out instead, but unfortunate regardless. Yeah, it looks like Wario's trying to get a little bit of revenge for Captain Falcon here. Death? Oh, okay. He doesn't go for the... The last actually tried to set up and falling up there instead. Maybe he didn't think it would kill at this percent, so saving it for it, but it's a guarantee, basically. The most common setup that I see with the waft is just up tilt the waft. It seems to be very true. It seems to be very consistent. Right, comes back with the air. Oh, okay, being nice and patient. He was trying to anticipate a roll, but like. Oh, and that's air stopping him. Had a potential tech chase situation, but he actually dropped back down to the ledge. Not quite gonna happen. Oh, and the edge guard tried to get the reversal. Not quite gonna happen there. And he's able to get that back air. Now all of a sudden, Quick has a really big opportunity to try and bring this back around. Now he definitely does. He landed that forward air. Oh, okay, the down air. Kind of classic with the FB. Uh, not quite. Yeah, if, you, if you're across the stage, if you just hold down, you won't die off the top, so. Good DI from Blendy, and you would be able to recognize that. <gasps> that could have been the punish of the century, but no. Yeah, there we go. Not much you could have done about that. Okay, 115 is still very doable for Zero Suit Samus. We've seen him kill Gloomy at a very early percent, so we'll have to see what he goes for. The Zare, the pressure, oh. the down smash. Doesn't get anything else, though. The Fortune is able to come back up just in time. All right, let's trapping time. Oh, you know, I like that change in recovery. But it still didn't work. I mean, technically, Quick ended in the same result that Quick was probably, or excuse me, Gluttony was probably looking for. He was probably looking for the down B. It just kind of delayed that, but Gluttony was being very patient and just knew it was like, okay, I'm gonna watch my opponent. And then he saw the wall jump, and then he knew exactly what he was trying to go for, and then he just went for the back air to intercept that. I almost never see people do wall jumps anymore. And, uh, that's that's a nice watch. Oh, thank you. <laughs> very nice watch. Alrighty. So, we are 1-1 right now. Um, I really don't know why Gluttony just... Uh, uh, I, I don't want to really call it that, but he kind of threw that game in one with Captain Falcon <laughs> because he got blown up super hard, but... I think he was just taking the Captain Falcon antenna and just using his feelers. <laughs> he got him chopped off, so he went right to Wario. But he, he was able to get a little bit of redemption there, so, you know. All right, on. still on Pokemon Stadium. I feel like this, I, I, if we have to look at like the stats ratio, I feel like this is like a 75% of the time stage, you know? Yeah, it's around that. It's it's so easy to just, hey, you just want to do this? I really don't want to start striking. Especially when you don't even know who they're going to play, but oh we all God. know who Putney plays. Yeah, that, that chomp grab box was so big, it just kind of dash into it. It's a great command grab, it really is. And it heals you too, like they just added that. <laughs> like, it's always been able to heal if you get like an item, but when you just chomp on a person, yeah, you get healed for it. Okay, nice and safe. Like I said, I really don't blame Gluttony for trying to uh, camp a bit more. Uh, it seems like a right call. You gotta be very patient, especially in, a, in this type of matchup. I don't think he's necessarily camping in this regard. I think he's playing more passive. Yeah. Yeah, he's waiting for Quick to make an option first, rather than going in recklessly. And then when he's got advantage, then, you know, try to deduce what he's going to be able to go for instead. And then punish that accordingly. Drop down back air, not quite going to be able to do it yet. He really goes high for it, but it's not quite going to work, but almost gets a reversal. Not going to be able to do it yet. Well, that's a shame. Yeah. But you know, that was a pretty good mix-up from, uh, from Gluttony. Put the fear. Okay, and now he's trying to run with this lead. I mean, he's pretty heavy. It's, it's gonna take a. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind what I was about to say. Yeah, got caught on shield drop there. I mean, that was just right call for quick, basically. Yeah, that was a really well spaced uh, back air. Man, and the fact that 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 it brings you back into zero two Samus, it's, it's kind of perfect. Yep, yeah, mostly because Gluttony is either trying to press a button or he's just trying to land in some way where he's being a little bit too Ooh. aggressive, and then quick's able to chase that instead. That was a good tech, though. Oh, and that's there. So many implications. That was a really good uh, raw back air as well. Okay. Uh, just kind of walking around the bike, making Gluttony think he might try to interact with it, but he didn't. 
Oh, yeah. How's about, how's about interacting with your face with that bike, however? Lands with the side beat that time around. I like that quick wave land on the platform. Just a little bit of movement tech coming up quick. He seems to love that very much. Quick back air. Just beats out the air to air when he tries to come back to center stage. That was a snazzy recovery. Yeah, just letting go of this air and getting back on. Okay. Yeah, I was imagining there was going to be a there. There was at the perfect, uh, perfect range to do it. Oh, uh, that up air, they're trying to read the, the jump. Yeah. Ooh, oh, air dodge. Air dodge. That looked a bit scary, Dad. Ah! Went, ooh! He could have gone for a board zone, I feel, but just went for the board smash. I mean, it'll still work. Oh, man, that was scary, but it looks like the Angel's platform invincibility was just enough for him. That's there. Yeah, he's got to start taking this out real soon. Putin is being very, uh, like you said, very passive around this, this Zare here. Zare in side B. Doesn't get the second hit, but he still gets a chase afterwards. Gets that landing fair into a big follow-up there. 39%. All of a sudden, kill percent. All right, only 39. This is this is just one combo for uh, Zero Suit Samus. Yeah, but at the same time, Blutney still got the waft available, so we're gonna yes. see how that pulls out. He's got a lot of pressure available because of it, just from the fear of, am I gonna stay just you in the air with it, or am I gonna land it up there into the waft instead, just like that? And that's gonna be the kill, and going up 200 Blutney. Oh, yeah. You know, landing with an up air. Does it have a whole lot of end lag if you, uh, if you land with it? No, it all, it, it's almost an auto cancel. It's oh, that my bad. goodness. So it's not even really that risky. Oh boy. Still sticking it with the Zero Suit, I respect it, but uh, mm. looks like Lutney's been able to clutch it out a lot of these times with uh, with Wario at this time around. Yeah, these are not exactly blowouts. And I think I think Quick enjoys the, the range advantage that he has over Wario. Really utilizing that Zare. Try to go in with a falling up air, not quite gonna work out. Ooh, good wave are, bounce. Committing hard, but now Gluttony's got a big position to be in. Catches him in shield and gets an up throw to up air. Nice stuff, and he's keeping up the position too. Decides to give it up though now that Quick got a couple of hits on him. Yeah, and Gluttony burning that double jump. He's gonna get in trouble for that. He's not interacting with that bike. He's saying you can come to the bike if you'd like. Yeah, this is a really nice position to be in just because it's a little bit more predictable how he's gonna come back to the stage without that bike available. But now that it's gone. Now Luthi is back in a good position. That back air, intercepting in the air one more time. So is so good at being able to catch the air. Quick trying to come in uh, in the air-to-air -air combat. Oh, barely whipping that back air. Really goes to show you that their spacing is very on point. Even when they miss, it's by a nose hair. I like that for Luthi. Just goes underneath the Pokemon Stadium limit so that he's a little bit more safe when he covers low. Ah, but again, good. that dash attack does not cross up, so that's a free opportunity for Quick to be able to get that up the out of shield. That was a good punish. Oh, another punish just like that, taking it out. Stale or not, that's going to take you out. Yeah, just uh -oh. went right in between the uh, hits of the two down zones. Very smart from Quick, and a quick reaction too. That was very smart from him. It almost looks like Jab can lead into uh, to an air. A B combo? No, he goes for the down air immediately to get out of it. Alright, throwing the bike elsewhere. Oh, <laughs> getting caught during the, uh, the starting frames of picking up that bike there. Oh, punish time! Yep, yep. Yeah, that time around, it crossed up. Quick thought that he was able to get it, but not quite. Maybe at the very beginning of that stack, if you hit shield, you're still able to cross up. Yeah, we got a waft here. Oh, no! Are we going to see something disgusting? Oh, that looks so promising. I mean, it was promising. We got 72%. Very interesting to see Glutney opt for the high percent combo instead of the, the kill with the waft. He might just be trying to save it for the very last stock. That's so he can't have that, that clutch factor. Yeah, that's what I think is happening here. Oh, or just not. Just kidding. <laughs> or not. Okay. Wow, the DI was not on point there. Yeah, that was a hard slot to be in. The more uh, closer you are to the edge of the stage, you want to hold more downward and inward. And, but that time around, it's kind of a hard place to DI. Oh. 
Oh, Combo City. Yeah, forward air into, into F tilt. That was really nice. Very smart from Gluttony. He didn't go for the immediate chase on the platform. He just oh. decided to wait instead and then elicit a reaction by turning around. And that was the, allowed him to be able to catch that back air and get 4% on the quick. Speaking of back air. Oh, okay. Still making it with that drift. Oh! Yeah, but Quick doing the exact same thing. He just waited underneath, turned around to elicit a reaction. He got the get up attack out and he's able to catch him with the up -E instead. Oh, Zero Suit Samus, or at least the way that uh, the way that Quick plays, is kind of the master of that DVD logo kill. Alright, Quick, game five actually coming from both of these players. Quick able to finish that off that last set in a two stock, it looked like actually. We'll have to see how it goes down for both of these players. Lutney thinking about this, or maybe just giving us some time to think. I'm not 100% sure. Probably considering Samus. Okay. Now I want to see how uh, how Quick has adapted so far. Like he, he's done a very good job at using his range to his advantage, but Lutney's just been catching him more often than not. I wonder if he's going to start getting a bit more aggressive with the way that he approaches. It seems like he is. I'm seeing a bit more forward tilt out of him. Well, I can see what Quick is doing, um, because a lot of times he would miss face something, and then Gluttony would be the one that would be doing dashback, or just is, like going outside of the range and being able to get something out of it. But now Quick is eliciting reactions out of Gluttony, and just being like right outside the range, or just being very safe on how he lands his aerials, and that makes it so he can get these high percentage combos. It seems like the bike doesn't really have a whole lot of priority once it's thrown, because that's there just stopping it in its tracks right in mid-air. It is a disjoint too, so that might be part of it too. Yeah, Quick is being much more safer. He did land a little bit unsafe with that side B for the most part. Quick has just been keeping right outside the range of gluttony, just being very careful. Even right there, he spaced it perfectly so that he did not get cat caught by the uh, jump pair out of shield. Just being very safe on how he approaches Wario's shield here. And uh, when I was mentioning a little bit earlier about Wario disadvantage, that hit stunt where he sort of like bobbles around, that's uh, apparently really bad. That's apparently, well, of course it's bad, but apparently consider, considering everybody else's hit stunt, that's, it's one of the worst. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah, getting hit. Well, that's one way to get backstage control, just throw the bike, I, I guess. Yeah, very creative way for Gluttony to come back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, uh, he's had a pretty good success rate, especially when he throws it up. He's able to call out those jumps a whole lot. I like that from Quick, the mix up into the side B at the ledge. Yeah, he did his there, and then he called out Gluttony because he could be holding shield again. That uh, that side B was, I think, able to poke or either catch shield drop, and he was able to extend that into a ledge kill there. Oh, wait. Oh, there's that waft. Okay, good get up attack. Fourth there. Might kill. No, not quite yet. It's Maybe with some rage. Yes. Not in, not in uh, Smash Ultimate, unfortunately. Ah, uh, up tilt. So up tilt, not killing, just being able to be used. It's a great combo tool, but the back air will definitely kill. Waft is available right now for Luffy. Like we saw before, I don't know if he's going to use it for an end guard or what, but probably just when he thinks he can get an absolute guaranteed kill this time around, because he did kind of waste it that game four. Looks like he's fishing for it right now with those nares. Yeah, just five in a row. And Quick is having none of it. Yeah, we're probably going to see a lot more side Bs, a lot more Zares. He's still playing the same game. He's being very safe with his aerials, just so he doesn't get caught by jump fair from Warrior out of shield. And he's been doing a good job of it, too. Oh, yeah. Really got to respect the way that these guys are able to space, still be safe. Uh, like, they're they're able to aggressively, you know, approach, but still be out of the range of each other's attacks. I like that from Quick. He just let Lutney try and get more room so that he can try to approach, and then he was able to use that kick flip to bring back around the tide. But there we go, up throw into up air. Gonna be able to get a little bit more damage, get that chase. Double jump is used up, but he doesn't pick up with the up tilt afterwards. Oh, that was a really well spaced fair. Okay. Alright. Yeah, he's doing the same thing before. He would give Lutney a lot of room with these airs, and then immediately use the kick flip to come back to the position. Making it very frustrating for Lutney to try and bring these things around here. Using it as a conditioning tool. Oh, okay. Yeah, not being able to penetrate the, the bottom of the platform there. 
Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, knowing that the grab's not gonna do it. Yeah, he now this time Quick is being very safe, much safer than he was in the previous game. And as leading into these opportunities, and Gluttony, I can tell, getting very frustrated on how he's trying to approach Sirius and Samus here. Yeah, he just wants in. Yeah, you can tell he was trying to get a walk really uh, early at the at the stock. He was just trying to go for those nares, 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 and Quick just not not accepting that fate. I don't want to get the punish off Mike. Quick uh, take the fate though, waits for the right opportunity. He lands with an aerial and he's able to get the back air punish off of that. And a big opportunity, yes, if he gets a uh, side beat there. This is wonderful for Quick. Yeah, if he can get Glutiny to waste his waft on like a recovery scheme, then hey, all more power to him. Oh, very smart. He spaces around that up air and he's able to get around that up smash and continue on his pressure that he was exerting on the platform there. Oh, yeah. Quick always getting uh, punished by a jabbing on shield like that, even when he stops at a jab too. Oh, but he's jabbing it up anyway. Yeah. Yep, I believe Samus' jab is still frame one in this game, so it's still very good to use in block streaks. Mm. Yep, I feel like, especially in this game, the big thing that Quinn's doing is he's just abusing the matchup better. Like, he's being able to abuse Mario's range or out of shield option against Zerosu's range, and he's been able to capitalize off of that and slowly keep up and retain this tick damage that he's using to keep the lead. Oh yeah, very incremental, and it's smart. I think a lot of people would say that that is how the game is supposed to be played. I mean, it makes sense. Every time Quick has been trying to extend himself further with a, with like a guess on his defensive option, he usually gets hit by Wario because he presents himself in a position where he's able to hit him back. But if he keeps up that perfect spacing that he has in this entire time, it makes it very difficult for Luffy to really do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, been avoiding the mic as well. He's been kind of getting hit by like unnecessary mic throws. Like, been getting caught with the jump off the, off the ledge. Oh, this is the time to shine. He's been holding onto that walk forever. It looks like uh, Gluttony, Gluttony is trying to just take this stock and then use the walk in the in the last stock. Big opportunity here. Oh, oh trade comes out, but he was yeah. still up another stock, so that's going to be quick thinking at 3 2, actually. Very nice stuff coming from him. He's going to be moving yeah. on the grand finals winner's side. Okay.